Ishka Aaron is set to carry out urgent and complex repair works on a key water pipeline that supplies one third of the Greater Dublin area's drinking water. The utility company said it has identified sections of the pipeline that are at risk of failing as well as several leaks which will be addressed during the repair works. The pipeline can only be shut down for up to 28 hours before the water storage levels become too low, which could lead to widespread supply disruption. We're shutting the water main at 10 o'clock on Friday night. By early Sunday morning, we expect water to be back on. So this is the largest repair works undertaken on the water network in, in Ireland. And given the constraints, we only had a 28-hour window to complete the works over the August Bank called the weekend. So the pipe connects our water treatment plant at Ballymore Eustace, uh, the biggest water treatment plant in the country. It connects it to a new reservoir we've recently constructed in, in Sagart. Pipe itself carries over 200 million litres of water per day. That's approximately one third of the water to 1.7 million people in the Greater Dublin area. So when this work was handed over to us, we had about nine months of, of intensive planning and programming of this works. It involved obviously landowner engagement, liaison with our roads authorities, and obviously uh, with our, our appointed contractor. Throughout the planning phase of the project, there were over a thousand people involved. We reckon that at any one time there was about 300 people on site. And the big challenge there is making sure that all the moving parts, all the various specialists, everyone is working safely. We effectively had to do, in the space of 28 hours, was dig up a section of pipe and remove about the size of a Lewis train. So it was a very, very large civil engineering challenge that we undertook. We're shutting down the network, putting measures in place that effectively like having the network on life support while we carry out the repair. We're against the clock, carry out the repair, get the water back on before the greater water network in the area starts to suffer. We did put out a call to conserve water and the public responded very well to that and that certainly helped us to give our, our crews enough time to complete the work successfully and avoid any large scale outages. We also had a lot of positive feedback as well from the local community where we were doing the works, it was always great to see. So we spent a, a lot of time in the planning phase trying to identify the, the best people to work on this project to try and make sure it went as smoothly as possible. My job remit within GMC is to manage and coordinate the contracts that we work on the Irish Gairns and then coordinate with the project managers, construction managers and operational teams to ensure that we deliver projects on budget and within a designated time frame. Team leads, engineers, uh, operatives, the guys in the water treatment plant, everyone really went above and beyond their call of duty. Yeah, so great progress today by all the crews. Um, we've all the old pipes out and we're just putting, we've four out of the new pipes in and we've got two remaining and the special fittings. Uh, we've also got four out of the five leak locations finished, so we're, we're certainly on programme, maybe slightly ahead, looking at BME ramping up maybe around nine o'clock tonight. five different teams that were, went down into five separate parts of the pipeline simultaneously. So there's a big coordination piece around that to make sure that the work is planned and is done safely. So this was the, the most complex repair works that were planned in Ireland. So it's not something we would have done every day of the week, certainly. We used a lot of our local experience and contractors, and we also leveraged off industry leaders, both for their knowledge and also crews to work on this scheme. We had 11 fixed cameras monitoring the work, what was happening in real time and sending the information back to a control room. We were able to see straight away how the repair was going at the open dig site, when somebody had gone down into the pipe, when they came out again, most importantly, and it allowed us to make decisions quickly and we had the best information available to us to make those decisions. I suppose one of the riskiest activities was always the confined space entries. Towards when we were near the end of the job, we had to send the crews in and then do the internal seals at either ends of the pipe before it was sealed up. So I was supposed to see them all enter in tandem and then come out safely and know when we were pretty much done with the job. But that was a great moment to have on site, I think, as well, to know that it all pretty much gone to plan. We do have a responsibility then to both the landowner and the surrounding environment that we actually put it back in the way in which we found it. That's actually the lasting impression that it is that you're leaving with people once you leave site. We're pleased to say that the work was completed without a single accident. 
but that's down to a lot of the planning and hard work that went into it from, from the very start. There is only one way to deliver a critical project like this that, that is safe. That was a really exceptional amount of work delivered in a very short period of time. I look forward to looking back on this time and having a lot of pride that we came through that. Everyone has a huge amount of pride in what we're doing. It's truly exceptional.